Xero allows us to email uh, PDFs, images and so on direct to Xero from our Outlook or iPhone. To find out the email address that to use, if you go up to the folder in the top right, you will see that Xero brings up an email address here. Now all I have to do is email a file to that email address and I can add that contact say to my smartphone or Outlook and then it will appear and you can see that I've just emailed a, a JPEG called Leaky Tap. And if I click on that image, uh, eventually it will load that image. So let's say I had a plumber take that photo with their iPhone and they email that through. Now when I'm invoicing the customer, so let's say I go into sales and I'm going to find, say, an, um, a, a new sale. So let's click new rather than an existing one. And we'll just type in a customer, Alan. So I'll just put here some plumbing work, let's say $110 to sales. Now, note on this invoice, I'm going to click attach. Now, if I scroll down, rather than uploading it directly, because I emailed it to that Xero account, it's now sitting here to attach. So I'm going to add that file. Another important thing is this little cog here allows me to include it with the invoice. So by choosing include with invoice there, so I, I've now chosen include with invoice, I'll just close that, and hit approve. When I go to email this, I'm going to send a customer a photo of the leaky tap. So I'll click on email to send Alan the invoice. And notice down the bottom, it's included the file leaky tap. So that customer is going to get, I'd also include a PDF of the invoice. And I'll make it an attachment, but they will get that JPEG. So again, all we had to do, and I'll send it, was get the email address from Xero, email the JPEG or whatever from our smartphone to that email account, and then attach that file. Notice now that I've used that file, it's disappeared from my inbox because it's been attached to that invoice.